Hey guys, this is a long tutorial. Uh, it started with uh, when I wanted to explain how jQuery extends its methods and properties, but it turned into so much more because I wanted to explain how it actually works beyond the extend method of jQuery. So let's start. Uh, I'm going to start from a simple principle uh, in JavaScript, uh, and that's creating objects using the JSON notation. And it looks like this. Uh, I'm creating an object called fake. This is an empty object. So I used uh, curly brackets. This means that I'm initiating a JSON format. And this is not the only way to create an object in JavaScript. There are a few others. I should probably create a tutorial about that. But here we're only using the simplest way uh, to create an object. That's why I have chosen it. Uh, let's say we want to add into this object some properties and methods. Uh, I'll add a few of them. So donkey123 day. It's Thursday today. So I'm, I'm going to use Thursday time 9.41 a.m. Uh, start. Start. Uh, all of these donkey day and time, they're properties. They're just strings. Uh, the first is a number and two strings. And now I can add a method to an object. And I'm just going to call it a simple uh, function. There's nothing inside. It's not going to do anything. So once I created this object using JSON, I can start uh, accessing those members, um, member properties and the methods. So I would do it like this. Donkey, uh, fake donkey. This would result in one, two, three. Fake day. Nothing would be displayed uh, in the actual console or anywhere, but these are the values of all these variables, of these member properties of this object. And because start is a function, we can call it. And as you may know, uh, calling a function is done using the parentheses. So here we have uh, just displayed what we added to the object. Donkey123, Thursday, 9.41 a.m. And we just called a function. It's an empty function. Uh, when a function is inside an object, it's called a method. It's no longer a function. Uh, but it's really the same thing. They're one and the same. So. Here I demonstrated how we can create a, uh, an object using JSON. And by the way, there's no JSON object in JavaScript. These brackets, it's called JSON, yes, but what we're creating, this entire object is going to be uh, at the bottom of things. It's going to be just a plain JavaScript object of type object. Object here is the constructor. So this object, even though we created using JSON notation, its constructor will be of type object. And I, I've talked a little about uh, object constructors in my other tutorials. All other objects come from object object. There is no JSON object in JavaScript. JSON is just a notation to write out object properties. And that's what we have done here uh, with this object. For example, we can have arrays, one, two, three. This is an array literal uh, notation. In the same way as JSON is using uh, the brackets like that. 
So that's what we've done here. We created an object of uh, with whose constructor is object uh, using JSON and HTML. So we're moving on. One interesting thing you'll notice is that this object called face, uh, it's not a JavaScript constructor function. It's only a JSON object of type object. So for example, if we wanted to create a new object and make a copy of object face, we would not be able to do it in this way. This is because um, we'll see that JavaScript error object is not a function. So this will produce object is not a function because every time we create an object using new keyword, this object here needs to be uh, an object of type function. It needs to be a function. And in this case, it's an object of type object. So this is why JavaScript is telling us object is not a function. No, it's not. And this is just not going to work. Having said this, let's create a new object. Call it humble. And get it from uh, by using the function constructor. So basically, we're creating humble is going to be almost exactly the same as face, except the difference is that it's using constructor called function and not object. And we can double check console log humble prototype. Let's see what's in the prototype of this new object. Prototype. And uh, I'll make it easier. The console will say object, object. Uh, this means that prototype property of this object is of type object. The reason I wanted to demonstrate this is because um, whenever you create a new object using function constructor, automatically uh, on that object, you will have prototype property. If you created it, um, the object using JSON here, it does not have prototype. That's why only functions can be constructors. A constructor uh, needs to have a prototype. So now that we know this, we can demonstrate that uh, we can attach methods to the prototype. Uh, I just attached a new method, the world, to function prototype. Or function is the constructor, it's the same one we're using here. So we're adding, we're not adding to this humble object, we're adding directly to the function constructor. And what we just added is a new function in the world. Let's say it will output some text just for reference. World, uh, this is not a function. Inheritance to function constructors prototype. And now let's see what happens when we call this uh, new method that we just added to the functions constructor prototype. We can call it directly from this variable. Right? And calling this method on humble will produce this message in the console. But one important thing to notice here is that the object humble itself does not have the the world method. It's the function constructor that has it. But nonetheless, humble 
when you call the function the world, JavaScript will look for that method in the humble object and it will not find it and it will continue looking in function prototype in function construct constructor so it's going to find it there and it's going to call it let's say after all this we just want to create a completely new object new function and get it from uh, function constructor just as we did in the previous example notice that previously we already added the world to function constructor and because this new object is taken from the same constructor it already has that function on it we did not even have to add it anywhere in the same way as humble dot the world meek the world will produce the same message it's going to look in the meek object it's not going to find it so it's going to start looking in the function constructor because we added it here it's going to find it and fire this message but let's see what happens if this meek object had its own uh, the world method and we can add it ourselves like this now in this we're going to change um, the console message a little bit just to show that there's a difference local directly to the object. So what I'm demonstrating here is that now that we added um, function new method to meek directly, it has a higher priority. Now meek the world is not going to call this one, it's going to call this one because it actually exists. So JavaScript always looks into, uh, inside the object first and only then into the prototype of its constructor. So it looks in both places. If it found it the first time when it was attached directly to the object, it's just going to call this function and stop there. It's not gonna go into this one. If it doesn't find it there, let's say it's just not there, it's going to look in the prototype uh, of the constructor. So we just added a couple of methods and properties to plain JavaScript objects, humble and meek. And now I'm going to go to the next uh, part of this tutorial where I'm going to show you how to extend jQuery methods. I'm going to type like this up. And you know how we have, I always use this as an example. Uh, let's say you selected divs you can hide them you can show them you can uh, remove them you can uh, apply CSS to them like uh, you can animate to another JSON Second, so this would animate the background color to blue in five seconds. But what if we wanted to create our own our own method? Let's say red or blue. These methods don't exist naturally in jQuery libraries. We're just adding them ourselves. And we want them to work on the selection. So some of the functionality that we want to use in our own project may not be uh, part of jQuery library, but we can add it there. So I'm gonna comment this out because it's gonna break the code because those methods do not exist there yet. And jQuery provides extend. So this and extend method of jQuery. It's on the main jQuery object. It allows us to add these functions as custom methods. For example, red. Let's 
So the function function main background to red. And here we can access what was selected using the this keyword. So whatever's in this in that selection for this method, um, we can just apply some CSS to it. Background red. So now we can call this method like this. Red and this will color all divs. <coughs> this will color all divs. So now we can do something like this, and this will color all selected divs red because it's going to call this function and it's going to do this and output some console message. So this is how you extend the query methods for uh, your own use. You can add more. One thing about jQuery extend method is just you can keep adding more methods using the same function call extend. Uh, blue obviously write some code to color uh, the you know whatever's in the, this uh, object color that blue or whatever you want, and then you can do something like this. And what's interesting about this, how does jQuery do this? Um, basically, this fn here, it's another uh, name for prototype. They basically replace prototype with their own name, but it's the same. It points to the same uh, prototype, prototype of jQuery object. So in order to demonstrate that that's true, let's attach something directly to the uh, prototype of jQuery, because jQuery is a, an object of type function. It's been created using the function constructor. We can create, we can add methods to it using the prototype, just as in earlier examples in this tutorial. Log something out. So, and we have just done exactly the same thing that we did uh, earlier. And now we can call this method like this. Like, it's not going to do anything, it's just going to output the uh, string like. So I typed it up like this just to demonstrate that what fn extend really does, it's really doing the same thing attaching, it's allowing us, uh, giving us access to this function that allows us to add more methods to the prototype property of main jQuery object. So it's basically the same thing as typing up a bunch of these statements that do this. It's the same as using extend. So this tutorial is getting a little longer uh, than my previous one, so I'm going to stop it here. And I'm going to choose some other subjects for my next tutorials uh, in the future. So thanks for watching.